Hello everyone, welcome back to some more LSPDFR. Today we're going to be doing a... <clears throat> excuse me. Today we're going to be doing a Sheriff Patrol using the 1971 Dodge Polara, Polara, whatever uh, you like to call it. Um, I really like this car, basically. Um, same stuff as always. Um, here's our lighting, very basic. All we have is just this rotating light on top. There are other options for lights. <clears throat> I believe you can uh, have a full, on or you can have this light bar, or this light bar, it's steady burn, but it doesn't really look too, too great in the day right now in my opinion, so might as well use this one. Um, but uh, yeah, this car is made by the same guy who we use, or whose car we used last time, which was the Adam 12 car, um, once again, this retro emergency pack has a bunch of cars in it, and if you want to go download it for yourself, will be linked, um, in the description down below, um, but anyways, we are to be, uh, just going out onto, uh, patrols, so yeah, let's get started. A okay, property checkup. <clears throat> Let's see. Report a suspicious movement in the neighbor's uh, property. Let's go over there. It's gonna be just down the road. Looks like it's gonna be at the uh, clothes store. Maybe looks like in the back. This car is so hard to stop, but it's so nice. Oh, is it? <laughs> Play this uh, animal. I don't want to get too close to it. Uh, looks like it might have just been an animal. Right, let's still investigate though. Uh, go check back here. Actually, use our keyboard for this. Look like anything is uh, going on. Check the front. Uh, nope. Looks like uh, it was just an animal. Couldn't find anything else. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get back out on patrol. Ten four. Assault with a firearm. Armed gunman's been discharging rounds at people. Alright, code 3 response, mile and a half away in Sandy. Let's get over there. As fast as we can. Hopefully, you can hear a lot of microphone being pushed around, but it probably did, so. Alright. Last night. Camera keep looking over that way. I don't know. Take this left. Looks like it's gonna be right behind Trevor's trailer park. Oh! Back up. We need backup. Shots fired. Okay. Uh, he's looking at us now. He has like a machine gun or something. Oh, that was a good shot. Looks like we got him. Let's go clear, real quick. Here he is. Gun was that? 
No, it's an AK-47. All right, dude. Well, we're gonna get an ambulance. That was a good shot. Some saw our uh, back up and move our car. That old ambulance. Pretty cool. Alright, well, that was a good shot on our part. Thankfully, uh, it actually hit that. And we weren't uh, blown to smithereens, but... See if they can uh, revive him. Nope. Right, we will call a uh, corner. Assistance required in Candy Shores. Time to get busy. Time to get. Oh, we're gonna check on this guy too. Forgot. It's a wrap. There's a. Uh, he shot someone. In the back of the head, it looks like. It looked like, anyways. Hopefully, they can get this guy, though. I don't think so. Highly unlikely, but you never know. Yeah, he's dead. We should have gotten here faster. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, <laughs> corners here to uh, pick the bodies up once they. Uh, Get the bodies, we will uh, return to 10 8, or we'll return to available status. A pursuit in progress in Ponte Phoenix. So there's a little bit more night. Uh, I did switch the light bar to the one with the city burn. So they're going to be heading right down our way, which is perfect. Not. They're gonna go. Uh, yep. Heading right down this way. Turn right. All right. We're gonna be able to be uh, in the chase. Hopefully they don't go into the air with all the trees. So if I do need to call a helicopter, the helicopter does have some problems uh, flying through there. Actually, might as well just call one now. This guy's already getting ahead a lot. He's flying. Dang! We're so slow in the dirt. He's gonna be in the little turnaround area, so we can stop right here. Fly right by, he's gonna head right back. Alright. Can we get uh, two more units to help with this pursuit? Of course, gonna spawn right in front. He's going on okay. the helicopter let's see backup unit right here probably slow down here so we don't go flying over the berm they are gonna go flying over this though here he is give him a little bit of a hit Go a little bit uh, first person. Look at this interior of the car. You got the shotgun in the passenger seat. That's so cool. With the old 70s interior. Oh. Sorry about that. Um. Go 
the uh, three units to help. Yeah, since we are doing a 70s kind of style, kind of be a little bit more reckless since that's like stereotyped in movies. The cops back then were like reckless and stuff. But he is flying. He must be doing like 120. This unit, he is so slow. We're doing 130 ish. We can't even catch up. He's gonna pass. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't go into the forested area. Nope. Oh, he actually probably will. Unless he turns around. Nope, we're going straight. I'm going to continue into the city. Oh, yeah. Hopefully the helicopter doesn't hit any trees. It's already starting to fall behind. But as long as we keep eyes on him, we should be fine. Probably start letting LSPD know that we're heading into the city. Spawn right in front. Oh, better move. I hate this intersection. We're we'll be entering Vinewood. The LSPD in here. Almost hit that far. Spanish Ave heading west. Might be a little bit hard to keep up in these streets where they end so quickly and they have a lot of turns. So we have a bunch of units with us now, though. So we might go for a pit here. Goes left. Right into the wall. Perfect. Put your hands up. How about that, that little chase at the end? You are under Looks like all of our backup is still uh, sheriff go, units go. and stuff. No uh, city. And this cop just gotta drive right into that pole. Right, we don't need you guys to get out of here. <laughs> Why is my controller doing that? Alright. Sir, uh, do you have uh, get a pet check first, actually? Outstanding warrant for his arrest. All right, uh, let's pat you down. You want a ticket? Small baggie of cocaine and fentanyl. That's nice. All right, let's search this vehicle as well. It's actually G to open up that menu. Nothing really. Hmm, slide them on. So. Man, that sucks. I don't know why the backup's still here. Let's do their 
futuristic arrest report once again. So we'll do uh, traffic, evading arrest, 100 miles per hour, definitely. Uh, reckless driving, I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, nope, he had drugs though. He had uh, cocaine, fentanyl, I believe. Um, Nonviolent. Uh, we do warrant for arrest. And that is actually going to conclude it for that. Let's go by transport. Hopefully, uh, get the police van. No, it's not. Can you move? Because he said that's going to block the road for me now. So we have a stolen car. As well. But, I don't know. That's going to conclude it for today. Running out of time. If you guys enjoyed this episode and that little chase at the end. Uh, and you want to support me, uh, you can hit the like button. Um, really, that's going to be it. Once again, this car pack will be linked in the description below. It's super awesome. Uh, if you do want some like really old school vehicles and you want to choose between the 70s, 80s, or 90s, this is the pack for you. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time.